Not the equivalent, far from it, which I call the dump, right? <laughs> That's what it is, it's a dump. But we have luxury hotels multiplying. <clears throat> the government does not ask the hotels, please, could you contribute or punish them by saying, put a tax on them so that they create. <clears throat> But I'd be embarrassed to see, this is lovely. I haven't seen the full light of it. But it feels very pleasant, and I hear it's very nice. But for the Bahamas to do that, do that and St. Lucia not to do it is insulting to me, you know, for the country that I'm from. Have you, this is, I, you, I hope you're not annoyed by this question, <laughs> like you were by, by the Naipaul question. Have you ever tried prose fiction, short story, novella? Yeah, or, I wrote the or worst novel. West Indian novel ever, a long time ago. <laughs> Don't ask me to show you. <laughs> it might be worth something. You, know, oh, right. yeah. um, you once reflected that there was something special. I want to use the word revolutionary. I don't want to use the wrong word. But there was something special about writing the word breadfruit in a poem, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when you began to write in the 40s and 50s, you spoke of the awesome opportunity afforded Caribbean writers, that is to write about a place that had never been written about. Um, now, 50 years later, do you still feel when you write that you are engaging in, as you put it, Adam's task of giving things their names? I remember at the time at which if you said the word breadfruit, people would laugh from embarrassment, right? Which is really a laugh to, of recognition, a laughter of delight. But it felt as if that breadfruit couldn't make it with apple. There was another, you know. <laughs> Maybe there are people who are maybe they're too young to remember what the colonial education was like and that you were reading Wordsworth and Shelley or what have you, and that wasn't the landscape. Today, do you feel, still feel as if you're breaking we the all ground? You're too young to have suffered from it, but I have endured it. Yeah. <clears throat> if I saw a, 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 a black guy in a pilot's uniform, I'm not flying that plane. <laughs> No, I'm serious. The association of inferiority and insult that was there in colonial times was tremendous. The way the black women considered themselves as not worthy of comparison with, you know, with anybody lighter skin, the attitude to hair, all that sort of stuff. I've been through all that, you know, and we have been through that as writers, and we had the honesty, I think, to write about it and to condemn it for what it is. There's a value in Naipaul in that sense, that he would, you know, describe the sense of inferiority that so much occupies West Indian experience. Uh, maybe we may not know that you are also a wonderful painter as well as a fantastic poet. And I'm sure you may get this question a lot. How has the discipline and craft of painting informed your approach to poetry and vice versa? I hate abstract painting. I hate abstract anything. And I think um, <clears throat> it's part of being a West Indian that the reality of what has been the West Indian past uh, doesn't have much respect for what is really a high form of doodling. <laughs> the West Indian novel, for instance, still sticks to narrative. And the West Indian play, in a way, still sticks to the one, two, three of narrative. Um, in other words, you may have contempt for Caribbean art by saying it's 19th century, because it has narrative and it has you know, beginning, a middle, and an end. I remember Joseph Brodsky used to say, why do we need the 20th century when we have the 19th? Two, two. <laughs> and it's OK that we have that attitude. I think because we want to tell the stories that happened to us. We haven't begun to tell the stories or finished telling them. Um, <clears throat> I happened to have the opportunity to have a, I went and visited St. Lucia and stayed in Soufre. Um I had a view of, I think it's pronounced Piton. The Piton is uh, from my porch. It was stunning. There was something spiritual about being in the presence of those formations, in my opinion, even at night. Um, I know you were once critical, I remember reading, of a planned project that was going to really kind of desecrate, in your view, the, the Piton. Um, where would you say St. Lucia is today in terms of balancing 
I guess what we all have to balance in the Caribbean, the, the, the rush for tourism growth and what they, what's called development, and at the same